This quick tour shows the new JD Edwards Enterprise One Orchestrator features available with the Enterprise One Tools 9224 and Orchestrator Studio 610. New features provide significant advancements in Enterprise One process automation and interfacing with external systems through orchestrations. These features include the Orchestrator Process Recorder, a tool that drastically simplifies the process of creating a form request. Report service requests, which enable orchestrations to launch a JD Edwards Enterprise One report or embedded Oracle BI Publisher report. Service request connectors that use FTP or REST protocols to transfer files in or out of your Enterprise One environment. User interface enhancements that make it easier to work with orchestration inputs, including defining arrays for orchestration inputs. Orchestration exception handling to log any errors that may occur during the execution of an orchestration. Let's take a look at some of these new features. Prior to this release, here in the Orchestrator Studio, to create a form request, you had to use the form request design page to load and identify each control and field used to perform the actions in the form request. You had to move each action to the order of execution area and verify the actions were in the proper order. This functionality is still available, but now you can use the Orchestrator Process Recorder to capture the form request actions directly in Enterprise One. In the process recorder, you simply start the recording and then open a program and perform the steps you want the form request to execute. The process recorder records each control that you click, any values that you enter, and any row menu taken to access another program or form. When finished, you stop the recording, name the form request, and if desired, select any fields that contain values that you want the form request to return from Enterprise One. Back in the Orchestrator Studio, you can open a form request created in the Process Recorder and make any necessary modifications. In the Form Request Design page, the order of execution area has been enhanced so you can enter or modify the inputs in the Map Values and Default Values columns. Next, let's take a quick look at some of the other new features that you can use to create or modify a form request. The Run Synchronously option, enabled by default, ensures a form request completes all actions before the orchestrator executes the next step in the orchestration. This is critical if the next orchestration step uses values from the form request response. When loading the controls for a form, you can leave the version of the form blank. This gives you the option to pass in the version of a program from an orchestration input. Next, you can use Select All Rows if the Enterprise One form supports updating all rows. Select First Row has been renamed to Select Row. Add this to the order of execution as is to select the first row in a grid. Or you can enter a variable name in the Map Value column to pass in the row to select from an orchestration input. Or if there is a predictable sequence of rows in a grid, you can enter a specific row to select in the default value column. Next, the new Report Service Request feature enables you to launch an Enterprise One report or embedded Oracle BI Publisher report from an orchestration. This is an example of a report service request in an orchestration. Let's open this report service request step to view how it was created. In the design page, you specify the report to launch by entering the report ID in the report field. You can configure a report service request to use blind execution to run a report. Blind execution uses the settings defined for the report in Enterprise One. If a report is typically launched from a report interconnect, you can enter any values defined for the report interconnect here. Or you can override report settings by adding or modifying data selection, data sequencing, or processing options. You can also enter variables for these settings to pass in these values from orchestration inputs. Another new feature enables orchestrations to transfer files, including report output files, through connector service requests. You can configure a connector service request to use an FTP connection or REST connection to transfer files. Connections are soft coding records that provide the connector service request with access to the external resource. Configure an FTP connector to send a report file from a temporary directory on the AIS server to an FTP server, or configure it to send or receive other types of files. Configure a REST connector to transfer files to a third-party REST service. When added to an orchestration that includes a report service request, a REST connector or an FTP connector can transfer the output of the report service request to an external system. 
Let's take a look at an example of this. Here in the orchestrations page, this orchestration contains a REST connector that transfers the output of a report service request to the Oracle Content and Experience Cloud. Leveraging orchestrations to dynamically transfer files can eliminate the development and maintenance of a custom solution to perform the same functionality. Updates to the orchestration design page include supportive arrays for orchestration inputs and improvements that make it easier to work with orchestration inputs. The input section now contains three expandable grids to categorize inputs that you define manually, inputs defined from values returned from orchestration steps, and default system inputs. A new button in the steps grid enables you to easily generate orchestration inputs from an orchestration step. As mentioned, the user interface has been updated to include arrays as an orchestration input, defining the set of data to pass inside the array. You can then map the dataset to an orchestration step, selecting the array and mapping the orchestration inputs to the component. When executed, the orchestration repeatedly calls the service request until all incoming values in the array are passed to the orchestration step. The features shown here provide significant advancements in automating Enterprise One business processes and interfacing with external systems through orchestrations. To learn more about these new orchestrator features, see the JD Edwards Enterprise One Tools Orchestrator Guide and visit us online at learnjde.com.